and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube uh, for the standard metagame challenge. That's what we're going to be doing today on this Sunday afternoon for the stream. I have four decks um, that, you know, I'm not sure if we'll get to all four decks, but they're all decks that we've played before on stream, which I guess it's kind of covered up by those words there. But Demir Kraken, Teamer Ramp, Jeskai Giants, and Selesnia Enchantments. So we're going to be starting with Demir Kraken for our first one. Um, if you don't know about this metagame challenge thing, it's it's something that they do uh, every single new set. That it's just a week, it's just for a one weekend. It's just a um, a high rolling event that costs either two thousand gold or four hundred gems to enter, and um, if and you just play until you lose once, and if you lose right away, you get five hundred gold back. So it basically, makes it cost fifteen hundred gold, um, and if you can win. Uh, two before you lose, then you're basically gaining uh, value because a pack is worth 1,000 gold, and so you get uh, 1,500 of your 2,000 gold back plus a pack. But if you can keep it going and if you can get on a hot stretch and win three, four, five, and so on matches in a row, you can get uh, a lot of prizes, including if you get all the way to seven wins and go seven and zero, you get 30 packs and 5,000 gold. Uh, pretty awesome. So we're going to be playing, like I said, we're going to be playing this with a few decks. We're going to start with the deck that I've been, that I um, like the most right now in the format, which is Demir Kraken. Um, you know, this is the exact same list that we streamed before. Uh, this is the deck that uh, um, I've played just a little bit the last couple of days. As you all know, I, have, I haven't been streaming, but played just a little bit off uh outside of the stream and this has been the deck that i've uh, been playing the most and having the most success with too um uh, it's one that i just i've uh, really liked it's it's basically it's kind of like a demir control deck but you you really play more of like a mid-range deck because uh, we're playing the deer kraken for a finisher and i've been just really really happy with the kraken in this deck i think it's it's a uh, made the deck a lot better because you're not just like sitting around waiting forever to try to win the game you can actually get a pretty fast clock on the opponent whenever you play the kraken the next turn if you pay the one now it's a three four which is a pretty good body so you're attacking for three right away and you have an extra one one for a blocker and so on if you can stay alive for a while so anyway um let's go ahead and and uh give it a try let's see if we can get on a hot streak and play some Demir Kraken. Well, we're probably going to need two lands. Uh, I mean, I could try keeping this, like with Opt being a second land, you know? So, like, we're on the play. We just go uh, Fable Passage for Island. We draw a random card and then we opt. We really need to find a black source, but then if we if we don't draw one in the first couple of turns, even if this hits, could be a little rough. But I don't know. Maybe it could work. Tyrant Scorn and Thought Erasure are really good quality spells, and then of course we have the Kraken as well. Hey, Sandbox! Thank you so much. I got a donation deck. Um, no, I just won't keep it. I I really wanted to. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need another blue source. All right, Sandbox, do you have a day that you would like your uh, donation deck played? Day, time slot, that kind of stuff. I'm opting right now because we could find Watery Grave or Temple of Deceit. Basically a land that we want to put into play tapped. Yep, Azorius Drago. So we got Sandbox. All 
I'm I'm a little backed up on um, on donation decks right now. I have um, that's my fourth. I, I have four donation decks that I need to get to that I will soon. I do want to do best of one tomorrow, with it being Monday. We haven't had a best of one day Monday in a while. Uh, thank you, Sandbox. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Um... Just playing a Kraken. Uh, all playing a Kraken means is it's just going to get bounced again by Arcanist. That doesn't sound like the best use of my turn. Hey, BVB. There's no there's no ban in, in this event. Every, it's just it's normal standard. Yes, that's that's what we're doing right now, Flicky. So yeah, kind of assume they're just gonna shock the rider, so then I don't get to block, but this is just one point of damage. <clears throat> oh no, they're just shocking me. Okay. Well then I just Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. After... Okay, cool. Thanks, Sandbox. I got you. Hey, my tie tie. Um. Trigger the Kraken. Kraken. Um, I guess I'm going to decline this so I can play Kraken and Rider. Even though if I would have done that, it would have been a 4 5 and it would have been easier to attack. I want to get both these things in play. So I do want another Legion's End for the 1-3. I want to kind of see like what all they're doing. I have kind of a kind of like a weird draw. It doesn't look like Cry of the Canarium is something that I want. I'm not sure about Ritual of Sid, honestly. Maybe I should just play it. I could just play Negate. Or another End to the God Eternals. 
No, definitely not playing on where do you go. I'm going to seize removal. Okay, Vier Day, that's your that's your tier three donation deck there. Yeah, I'm gonna play just another end to the God Eternal, so I'm just gonna take out the Cry of the Canariums. Okay. Alright, I got it saved and I'll write it down and I'll get to it. Like I said, like now I have five donation decks to get to, so I'm more behind than I have been before probably like Tuesday Wednesday Thursday this week we'll be doing a lot of donation decks do you have a, a time of day that's better for you early or later in the stream beer day Brazen Borrower doesn't really work with Dreadhorde Arcanist. So it's possible they're not playing at that. Alright, thanks, Fear Day. Um, they don't have very many cards in hand. I guess I should use Thought Erasure before they don't have cards anymore. Alright, so Infuriate's going to do a lot of damage to me. Might as well just save the damage. I can I can kill this thing. I got plenty of removal in hand. They were on a mold of four. That's not so great. Using this Thought Erasure before we can't use it anymore. Oh yeah, that thing. Hey, Candice. Yeah, there's probably good stuff for Teamer Reclamation in Theros. Um, I mean, there's definitely the, the Red Sweeper. That, like, absolutely. But there's probably other good stuff, too. Thank you, Choco. So, of course, we're going to be able to either counter or use removal, depending on which one we want to do. I can just sit back with a counter spell up now while Kraken ends the game pretty quickly. Thanks, where to be. Hopefully I don't have the uncounterable uh, six damage card or four damage card. I guess that costs six mana though. And D Bluette. Getting this up from Kieran. Thank you, Santa Kieran. All 
All right, so we're starting off with a win. Dang, we got a lot of stuff for that one. Uh, I guess that gets us to eight on the day. Hey, Cali Commuter. All right, well, let's crack our pack open. Let's see what we get. We want to open Mythics. Not a Mythic. Forgot about that card. We're going to have to make a deck with that card. All right, want to know. Um, it, it would, Tarjan. Yeah, Rakdos the short stopper, that's a enter the battlefield effect, so using Bond Revival. Yeah, I've, uh, just last few days when I've just been playing offline, I've I've been winning a lot more with the Kraken deck than the Team or Ramp deck. Yeah, if it, if it doesn't, then that's a that's a bug on Arena. Whoops. Hey, Eric. Thank you for the resum. Welcome back. Um. It's a bad use of Tyrant Scorn. It's an instant. It's not like it gets worse. I could just Okay, I'd still I still would have done the same thing, but I, I don't need to do that sorcery speed. This one I kind of have to do sorcery speed if I do. I mean, I guess I could wait till combat. I don't want them. I don't want to like do it and then they spectacle light of the stage. I don't think they're like playing a, a four brand this turn because I think they're gonna want to play that light of the stage. Nielsen. All right, Wander, take care.
Um, a little Manu, yeah, a little. <clears throat> we'll just make some two three blockers for this two three. Let's just cat also. I'm casting this now because of a land drop. Like if if we do end up getting a land drop. Okay, which we didn't, but it's not like I was looking for a land drop, but just if we would end up getting one. Maybe better just as like a, a chump block with the two three, honestly, and keep the murderous rider around. It's possible that was better. I'm not sure. Phoenix is awesome. That card is quite good. <laughs> Fear your fate. Terror lurks among us. Sashiok makes them exile. Your heroics are but a dream. Well, that's a problem. That's a pretty big problem. Snake Spur. Well, I thought we had this one, but we don't. That back to back Phoenix. I think I I think I made the wrong block. I'm just taking lethal there with the Phoenix. I think I made the wrong block. With double blocking that annex, I should have just single. Blo I should just jump up, jump blocked it, and kept the murderous rider. Yeah, that was the wrong block by me. Um, can you counter? You can counter the Phoenix escape? Okay, I guess I was thinking that I couldn't counter that. I, oh, the, no, the second Ashiok was exactly what I should have done. But I also didn't think I could have countered the escape. Okay, well then, yeah. So, yeah, I needed to, to save the counter spell for the escape. And I still could have won that.
Um, I'm playing Ritual of Soot. Do I want the second Ritual of Soot is what I'm thinking, but I'm playing the one. It's do I want to take out a Sabotage for the second... Nah, I'll keep sabotage. No, E2 Extinction's awesome. I mean, it exiles Phoenix. No, and that card's awesome. When they're playing Annex, Phoenix, and Torbran, you want to exile all those. No, ne never taken out Opt ever. Sabotage is the the card to to take out for the other ritual sets, which I may regret not doing that, but that's the card. Never board out opt against anything. shock land but I want to land I'll stick it so they just played a land from hand and then that so they're just gonna get rid of these Tab. So what do we got over here? We do have Torbran. Two. We got a bunch of new subs. Thank you so much, JRC, gifting out 11 subs. Thank you, JRC. Gets us to 20. Making it an even 20. Thanks, Jersey. That was really kind. Yeah, Dovin's Acuity with Archon. Yeah, that sounds awesome. That sounds very good against aggressive decks as well. Uh, two Torbrands. Second tour brand is going to be rough. The gifted subs are usually random. Like what? Well, don't know what I want my plan of action to be for this next turn.
Well, that worked out very well for me, all the way around. And them not playing... <clears throat> not playing Torbran, because I didn't really have a way to deal with Torbran. They, I now have three cards in their graveyard as far as Drown and Lock. That just all, all worked out for me very well. And just drawing the extra lands to draw more cards with Gadwick. This is perfect. Now they have four cards in their graveyard. Destroy that thing. Alright, well. I'm going to have to win a third game here. I should have won the first game if I realized that I could have countered escape. I, which I, I knew that. I guess just, you know, I just kind of had like that. Just had like a brain fart kind of thing of just forgetting that I could counter escape. Could have had the first game too. Kraken is faster than Hero because you get a lot larger creature. I've been very, very impressed with Kraken the more I've played it. And you don't have you don't have any stipulations on cards you can put into your deck, like with Hero of Precinct One. You get a you can play a better mana base. I've been much more happy with it than Hero Precinct 1 myself. No, I I under I underrated Kraken in the review, certainly. Well, this is great. Keeping Eats over um, I guess this is what I get for not winning the, the first game that I should have. Give an Eat over the uh, Rider because I just thought it would be easier to cast. That's fantastic. I'm not sure my favorite card out of Theros. It might be the Kraken. Hey, VT Log. Don't think I can stay alive here. No. They just play Torbrand and I die. Well, 
Well, I mean, I guess that's my fault. I didn't, uh... So yeah, I won the first game that I should have. And then I mold to four. All right, I'm going to be playing another one with the deck. With it just being the the two games. No, I I couldn't live at I couldn't live. The uh, the tour brand if I if I cast Cry of the Carnarium then whenever they play the tour brand, the annex turns into a five power creature and does two extra, so it does seven damage. Hey, Bordering. All right, save that. Yeah, Torbran has three red devotion. With this draw in our fourth land, we know we can just have Fable Passage fourth. Kraken is very uh, Oath of Kaya a bull. Could play my other, could just play Murderous Rider as a creature to try to incentivize them to play the other Oath of Kaya. No, we'll just play it anyway. That's cool. Thanks, Fit. I don't know. It's possible I should just be playing Ashiok there, but then if they just play Doom Foretold. So we get to counter the Vraska, which is pretty big, because Vraska is going to sack the Treacherous Blessing. Yeah, lack of lands. My, my first hand was six lands, and none of the other ones had lands. I didn't, I didn't realize you could counter escape the first game. If I would have just, if I would have known I could have counter escaped, I should have won that first game with the Phoenix. But oh well, lesson learned. Because then obviously I wouldn't have countered like the 1-1 one, one and would have killed the Phoenix and then countered it when it came back. Oh well, lesson learned. I wouldn't have, yeah, I wouldn't have had to use like the second Ashiok to minus it then. I would have just killed it and countered it. A 
That's that's my fault. It's going to be difficult to win from here. I felt pretty good before those two Kai's rats. They have dance for five right now. Just gotta draw a land and dance for. Six. I don't really like any option that I have. Really just don't don't have good options. Blue black has never been a color combination that has dealt with enchantments very well. Um. 
Oh man, I wish that that thought erasure just cost. Wish that just cost two mana. that interests me. Lucky you. Being ruthless has its reward. What? Don't they just sacrifice the Othakaya and then bring all three Othakayas back and kill me? Or well, I guess they do that. No, I haven't played Grixis yet. Two planeswalkers are gonna be a little bit of a problem. I'm kind of assuming they don't have any dance with the mans left. One, like they've, they've used three so far. One got exiled and two others. So I don't really mind filling their graveyard. Decks on Ashiok through Exile and playing cards from there. I guess I don't I don't understand what the question is, honestly. Draw five again. Thanks, Michael. Okay. So down to six. I should just I should have used E to extinction. I should, yeah, I should have used E to Extinction. I should have used E to Extinction. Yeah, I mean, if you get to... Yeah, if you ever get to Rascal Ultimate, that's, that's certainly a good thing. We get to minus seven. That's a good thing. Or 
how many basic planes cards they're actually playing. At least four. Don't seem to have very much green mana. They just need to draw the one green source. That's all they need. Trying to hold on. Uh, I guess they have a fourth dance. Yeah, they got a fourth dance. Okay. Oh, I. What am I doing? I could have maybe hit a counter spell. What am I doing? I was not really expecting a fourth dance. Is he playing some Grasps? You know, Vraska, Garrick. Let's see, Tyrant Scorn, Enter the God Eternals. <sighs> Those are probably my worst cards. Uh, no. No, the, the decks that I have listed aren't popular decks. Yeah, the other Ashiok would be amazing in this matchup. Absolutely. I mean, it would be it would be our best card. But I don't have any. If if my opponent's deck becomes a popular deck that I expect to face, then we will put the other Ashiok in the sideboard. So plan is to sit back and just gain a lot of life here, attacking. I can't attack through an 0-4, but I can gain life and try not to get burned out.
Thanks, Bunny Bunny. Ice cream. Okay, need <clears throat> one more land before the thought distortion, but obviously we're not going to be putting that down to the bottom. Get rid of these. Not let them top deck a dance with the man so then bring everything back. I'm good at that was a very I good draw. And what I do is that was a bad decision with a very good draw. I think they should be ticking up. Because with them minusing, now I get to just kill Nebraska. I want to draw Ashiok, Gadwick. You know, something like that. Even a Castle Lock Twain would be nice. I think they they should tick up, sack the Guild Globe, and then their Vraska's at six loyalty, and then I can't kill it, and then they would have been able to just they would have had that Birth of Miletus also. Good safety net. Good disdainful stroke. I want them to stop drawing planeswalkers. Ugh. It's unfortunate.
Be a perfect time for a Gadwick. Have something to protect. Hey Vitellius, good to see you too. Man, they have a really, really top heavy deck. I hunt bigger game. Four four dance, multiple Garrick, like three Elspeth Conquers deaths. It's a very expensive deck. But it lets them top deck really well, as we saw in this game. Hey, Narky. Step aside or be crushed. We were born for the hunt. An unfortunate casualty. Yeah, this 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 match is over. This is Awaken Alive by Skillet. Okay, well, I just went one and two, which is unfortunate. Um, my loss to red was, was completely my fault. Um, it was also the first time I lost to red with this deck, but um, it was definitely my fault. You know, like, I, I didn't realize I could counter um, the escape. Uh, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I definitely knew that because I've countered escape before. It just, you know, just kind of lost, just kind of left my... Uh, mind there that I could um, so that's unfortunate uh, but then you know like that other deck just went too big and and uh, went over the top of my deck um, so yeah uh, you know wasn't wasn't a great showing for the deck so I, I feel bad about that um, but I, I really like this deck and I've had I've had a lot of success with it um, off of stream uh, just I played some matches yesterday. I was I was six and one and ranked with this deck. Um, it got me to percents somewhere to number eight forty two after I was in whatever percent like ninety something percent um, with just playing Demir Craig and I. So yeah, I really like the deck. Um, I've had a lot of success against Red with this, um, but that that Esper deck that we or like that four color deck we just played against, yeah, it went over the top. <clears throat> that was a that was a good deck. All right, uh, that's Demir Kraken though. So those y'all on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I really really appreciate it. Um, thanks for waiting the last couple of days without me streaming. I'm glad. Um, and uh, yeah, hope hope you're enjoying the deck. If if you're playing this deck, also let me know how it's going for you. Because like I said, I've been having a whole lot of success with this and really like it. Just um, sorry I didn't win more here. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, some Demir Kraken, and I'll see you for the next video.